There are still many uncharted oceans on uncharted planets. Seemingly isolated in the middle of an ocean, an island's ecosystem is diverse. From the breathtaking cliffs to the surrounding shallows and the foreboding ocean depths, an island's world teems with life. Sailor sirens seem to enjoy intertidal zones present on some islands. In this habitat, they drink seawater, but separate and expel the salt, and even tolerate the presence of humans. Pogs are a curious beast. They nest in the open and don't have much fear of predation. They imprint during the nesting season and often mate for life. This has been known to occur with other species. Though beware welcoming porgs into your life as they can be destructive. On ocean worlds, some species have adapted to live both above and below the water. The Iwa is one such majestic beast. Many even accept riders and can become quite attached to Caminoans. There are many though that simply wait in the depths. And as a wise Jedi once said, there's always a bigger fish. In the abyss that forms the core of Naboo, many predators lie in wait. Their massive size requires a slow metabolism, but they can move quickly when prey wanders by. The Colo Clawfish and OP Sea Killer are both massive themselves, but dwarfed by the apex predator, the absolutely colossal Sando Aqua Monster. On Mon Cala, the ocean planet includes both sentient creatures and wildlife. Inhabited for millions of years, they generally live in harmony. Though there are still many wild places and threats to those who don't know the planet well. When war came, some species were weaponized. Perfectly peaceful eels can cause pain when abused. A species of modified jelly was abandoned on Moncala, now breeding and overtaking native species. The Rokna on Castellon are rarely seen gentle giants. Their tentacles have sensory organs used for smelling as well as touch and taste. When we encroach into the ocean and try to tame its creatures, we challenge the balance with aquatic life and are often destined for failure. There is much we don't understand, and some that seem like a threat are actually much more in danger from our actions. We must try to live in harmony. We can learn much from these creatures. When we involve the natural world in our wars, nature always seems to lose. From the petite porgs on the island shores, to the supersized Sando Aqua Monster in the watery depths, galactic ocean ecosystems are home to creatures, great and small.